Hello all, Bob Pisani on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange. Art joining me as usual. We're down 300 points, Art. And the same phenomenon, uh, this sudden acceleration in, in rates, 2.5% three weeks ago on the 10-year. We're over 2.8% today. Wage growth, 2.9% as I recall for the year. Best we've seen in a long time. Good news for the average American worker. More money in your pocket. We love that. But it's making the markets a little nervous. Well, it, you know, it's the possibility of uh, inflation finding, you know, inflation has been basically dormant for the last five years. Yeah. Now, when the Fed started pumping money in, people were afraid that we we're going to get runaway inflation and things were going to happen. That's not happening. Uh, the uh, velocity uh, of the money turnover is very, very small, historically small. But what has happened here when they saw that bump in wages, they said, wait a minute, is this going to be new inflationary pressure? So you've got a couple of things weighing on the market. Primarily the yields, as you say, that, that, that's a major concern. Secondarily, a couple of dents in the, in the FANG group, uh, Alphabet and uh, Apple and a few others, not quite living up to the high, high hopes they had. Um, and then we still have uh, political. Uh, they're still concerned about what will be the consequences if the president approves the releasing of the so-called a Republican memo. There were reports uh, or speculation yesterday afternoon that helped sell the market off that it could prompt the head of the FBI to resign, it could prompt the uh, yeah. uh, assistant attorney general to resign, and that would be, uh, uh, I think, a longer lasting difficulty. Neither of those would be one day events. I think the, the big issue here is what is the freak out level for interest rates? We have been talking about this for a long time. The market hasn't been worried about higher rates. They, they seem to be more concerned about a sudden acceleration of the velocity yeah, of yeah, change so happens. Right. Those who have been arguing that we might get four rate hikes uh, uh, coming up have been in the minority until recently. Three is the consensus, but those who are arguing four seem to be getting a little bit of the upper hand here. Well, over the last several days, that, that, that's for certain. So we're going to have to keep looking at the incoming data. Does it look like it's going to put pressure on inflation? The, the, the big concern here is that if inflation begins to look like it will accelerate, will that force the Fed to overreact? And it's the overreaction that people are really concerned about. Well, it's certainly been a very interesting week. I think we're down, uh, I think we've had the first, the worst week in a long time here uh, for the S&P 500, so we'll keep an eye on that. But remember, <laughs> despite all of this, we're uh, two point five or six percent off of the historic high. For all of this, that's where we're at, 2.6 percent yeah. off. So keep that in perspective. He's here every every day, every week, talking about the markets exclusively with us at CNBC. Have a healthy, happy, and safe weekend. Amen. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.